Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenerolf here. This is a deck that I've been slowly putting together, and it's still not quite finished, but this is Historic Jeskai Flash. Just about everything in the deck here either has Flash or is an instant. So it sort of writes itself. You'll notice that there's some cards that may seem obviously missing, and we'll, I will get to those. So there are 11 counter spells in the deck, except there are actually more, but wait a minute. So I have four copies of Sensor, three Dovin's Veto, and four copies of Neutralize. Dovin's Veto being the weakest one because it only counters non-creatures, and there's some prominent decks in Historic that do not have non-creatures. So the first one to cut is probably this, but in Control Mirrors, this is excellent. In addition, we have two Voracious Great Shark, which is a counterspell and a creature. Ta-da! It's one of our win conditions, having five fours. Turns out... It's pretty good. Uh, we have Glimpse of Freedom. I used to run Anticipate here. I don't anymore. I could certainly do so again, and I could see myself running more Glimpses, but the idea is to have not so much the cards to draw into the answers, but the actual answers themselves, or something like Glimpse that can recur itself. This is one card, but in a similar way that Think Twice is actually two and one, this ends up being three, four, five, and one. So I could certainly see myself running more. Uh, adding some number in by taking out Dovin's Veto, for instance. Uh, otherwise, you do still have card draw, and this is part of why Anticipate's not in here. We have Sensor, of course, as a four of, and two cast outs for cycling, of course. Uh, for creature interaction, we have two Scorching Dragonfires and then another two, different arts, sorry about that, uh, four Brazen Borrowers. We have Deafening Clarion, so bad anger of the gods, uh, but I simply don't have anger. This should be anger. Trust me. And then we have Cast Out, Settle the Wreckage, and Four Wrath of Gods. So we have plenty to do against creatures. Uh, beyond that, win conditions are... Oh, and Narset for, I guess, more card draw while stopping the opponent a bit. For our win conditions, we have Four Brazen Borrowers, we have the Voracious Great Sharks, Teferi, and that's about it. I mean, technically there's more than that. We have Castle Ardenvale tokens, but realistically, your win conditions are you either stick a Teferi or you stick enough of these flash creatures that you can just tempo the opponent, just beat them slowly over time. Uh, now, let's see. Beyond that, oh, and I guess there's also Thassa's Intervention, so yet another counterspell that also just gets us a couple of cards. When you get to four mana, this is draw two cards or counterspell unless they pay four. Uh, 26 lands. Uh, right now I only have three of the Triumphs, it should be four. And you could, of course, run some of the, uh, let's say, sp the spell lands, the ones that are mythic and come in, you can either pay three or have them tapped. Uh, in particular, the blue one would probably be great, but unfortunately none of the ones that I could play in here are instants, which certainly isn't necessary. Uh, additionally, I've run a version of this deck that runs Inspired Ultimatum, but again, that's a seven mana sorcery. We pl we play safely all the way until the end, and then we leave ourselves open right at the end. So I'm not experimenting with it right now. There's actually another deck I have, a Yorian deck, that does run the Inspired Ultimatum. So I still give it some play. This is actually probably my favorite card in Standard, but I just don't think it fits quite for this deck. Anything that reminds me of Cruel Ultimatum and that ridiculous amount of card advantage sounds good by me. So. Let's jump in. Now, thankfully, the quest today is pretty simple. It's just 25 lands, so we will definitely get there. I will just go into the regular queue. We are not going to play ranked while my internet is being spotty. I'm sorry. Please, no. <laughs> that, that's not going to work out. Trust me on that. All right. It's been messing up with me today. So, and if you lose, if you, if you disconnect in ranked, it treats it as a loss. I don't want that to happen. Alright, so let's keep... Also, no coffee, so I will be going crazy very shortly. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's how that works. Oh, Lava Runner, okay. Well, this will be fun. Um, still need to. Jeez. Jeez, yeah, it's not great taking two there, but I think that I'll need to here for just a moment. Alright. Let's see what they have. Ow. There it is. Oop, there we go. Censor that. So they kept a one-lander, maybe? 
No, they did not. Oh. I I wouldn't blame them for beating themselves up for that. I, this time we're not letting it come in tap. The untap. The neutralize just is not worth it to. Ah. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a 2-2 regardless. We'll at least save ourselves the 2 damage. Yeah, the condition here is it has to have two or more instant or sorcery cards in the grave, and obviously it does. Okay, so this settle is going to be huge. Alright. And then if we need to, we have Scorching Dragonfire as well. Ooh. Okay. Um. Hmm. That's tricky. I think I, I think I'm supposed to neutralize here. All right, let's counter it. Prevent three damage. We can use settle later when they hopefully have more creatures, so that we get more value out of it. Though we are giving our opponent uh, more lands. With the exception of Giganta, that should not matter at all for this. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that hurts. I want to give my opponent the good game. Forgot to give them the hello earlier, though. So, better late than never, right? Ooh. Ow. Oh, and they have Roman Up Ruins. Yay! Okay, we're definitely not out of the woods yet. They still have cards... Oh, and they're about to turn on Ramanop, so we're actually at a virtual two. That's a good game. Yeah, that's a good game. Alright. And... kill it. Oops. Oops. Maybe the, the neutralize there was not correct. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, that's... Unfortunately, that's tough. Alright. I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Because with hindsight, obviously it didn't work. The idea was to try to save the settle to get more out of it. Um, hoping that they would cast... Uh, was it called? Not Runaway Steamkin. Maybe that is it. The two mana... I don't know. Or a Bone Crusher Giant. Something something else. Some other creature. They wouldn't cast the Giant. They would wait to hold up the Shock. Stomp. Stomp the Yard. Oh. I'm wearing my Dark Souls shirt. Which is to say, an open shirt so that when I do push-ups every time I die, I don't overheat. <laughs> it is still pretty hot here. Um, it is, it's Georgia, <laughs> so no matter what, it seems to take forever before it cools down enough. Okay. Uh, prepare an action. Hello. There we go. I appreciate that we're going first when we have sensor in hand. Sensor seems to always be that much better when you're going first. Although, if this is a Lanoar elf... Yep, it's a Lanoar elf. Called it. Okay, well, we missed our next land. I mean, kind of. Alright, so we'll cycle cast out here. Alright, what do you have? Elvish Archdruid. Oh, no. Well, hmm, okay. Okay. Ah, I see what's going on here. Okay. That's fun. That's really fun. Doesn't even do very much to bounce it. Hmm. Just makes them spend the mana on it again. Which I guess is something.
Yeah, let's make them at least spend the mana, hopefully waste a turn on it. In before questing based, land questing based. That would be my luck. I guess in addition to the, no, never mind. Up. Oh, okay, there it goes again. There it goes again. Ow. Wrath. Please, Wrath. No, no Wrath. <coughs> Sorry, folks. Hmm. So let's do this again. All right. Maybe I should have used cast out there. Please play something bigger. No, oh, they're doing it again. Okay. Hmm. At this point, I guess I need to cycle the sensor and cast out, don't I? I'm, I'm digging for a wrath, basically, is what's going on here. Oh, jeez. I have four Wrath of God. I just don't want to show up. Okay. Yeah, the technical term is screwed. We are screwed. The four Brazen Borrowers... I don't know what, if anything, we were holding back by doing that, but given how many cards they have in hand, I assume something. Robber of the Rich. Okay. Well, I don't have more cards. We'll still bounce it. We, we have to, obviously. We have to bounce something. Now, oh, Jay, why am I bouncing the creature with haste? Because if I find Wrath of God, I'm not saved. Uh, it doesn't matter. Good game. They got me. They got me. Oh, Jay. Oh, Jay. You, maybe you do need your coffee. Maybe that's exactly what you need. Mm. Flash decks are tricky to play. <laughs> Control decks in general are tricky to play. Alright. That was, that was a weird game. Four brazen borrowers against a deck with hasty creatures. Uh, so I guess that answers the question of what was I holding back. Ace of Swords. Okay. Yeah, well, okay, we have everything we need, if not everything we want. Always start out with the lands that have to come in tapped. Yeah, one weakness of the deck is that there are quite a few lands that have to come in tapped on turn two. It, it is a bit unfortunate. That's just how it goes, though. Alright, Croxa. Thought says. Oh wow. Well, it is a Luris deck, so this is uh, Luris. This is Rakdos Pyromancer, the Arcanist et al. deck. All right, so obviously we get an island here. All right, and then we pass. Now, the fact that Scorching Dragonfire Exiles is kind of huge. Alright. Uh, I should have used the Cycling on Neutralize first, actually. So that I'd be more likely to find a fourth land here. Ooh, okay. Alright, what you got? What do you have? Um. We'll wait. And then we pass. Okay. Pyromancer. Yeah, this thing is unfortunately going to get to stick. Alright. I mean, they knew that was there, so... What's next? They don't know about the Scorching Dragonfires, though. Claim. Aha! Okay, let's do it again. That is more than fair. 
I have to make them do it, regardless. Let's do this now. And then, there we go. Alright. We can take one. Ow. Yep. Hmm. Alright, do they have any one-drop creatures? Cling to dust. Interesting. Just to draw a card. Alright. Let's exile that. It's probably not correct to do it now, though. But at least they only get three. They don't get six. Yeah, folks, that is a six for one. Stitcher's player is a six for one. Good times. Alright. Now I, f I feel pretty confident that we're in control. It's hard for me to imagine them being able to play much of anything at this point and get by with it. There's Croxa. There we go. Counter that. Ta-da! Nope. Uh, well, the only card that's left is the other Croxa. Yep. Yep. That's not something that I usually see out of those decks, though, so it's, it is kind of hard to play around literally everything. Then again, how often do you see Voracious Great Shark show up? They're, they're doing a pretty good job of messing me up here, unfortunately. Alright, yeah, this is a problem, folks. This is a problem. Uh-huh. I need to figure out how I'm going to do this. Alright. Yeah, it resolves. That actually probably was pretty bad, wasn't it? Ooh, interesting. I like it. I should have tried to use Luris as bait, I suppose. Get bait Luris to attack, and then hit with settle. Alright, nothing else? Let's see if we can start trying to beat face, at least. But now that we have a neutralize, maybe we're in okay shape. Maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. This will put four cards into the graveyard. Thoughts. Oh, I swear. You jerk. <laughs> you jerk. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Well, we can't get the settle to work here, so might as well make a token. That sucks. <laughs> Alright then. Well, maybe I can kill this thing. What do, I, what do I get to top deck, game? What do I get to top deck? That is not what I needed. Alright. Since they're going to loop the Croxa anyway, we might as well let it come in tapped at least. We're going to take three and discard it anyway. So I guess that that's okay. Alright, that's okay. Take three, go to twelve. Alright, please attack. Please attack with Luris. Nope, okay. Please attack with Luris. Oh, I swear. I'm trying, folks. I'm doing my best. Alright, this is just to preserve the life total, just to keep us in the game, maybe. That's not ideal. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, we got somewhere. Oh, they have something. Village rights. Boom. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't working out so well for me. 
Yeah, this is a deck that can de- oh god, are you serious? Can get the card advantage out, for sure. That was a weird choice, though. It- I don't know why they did- hmm. Okay. So it was the only target. Ah! Good game. They got me. Boom. They got me. Alright, that was that was actually kind of cool. It just came out of nowhere. I've played Ace of Swords before, so I should have remembered that that was the deck. Oh well. Oh whale. Well. I'll give it a few more tries before switching over to something else. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, maybe I do need the coffee. Alright. Oh, you know what? After the first win, tell you what, we'll open, we'll open some packs. I have five uh, Zendikar Rising packs to open. Cherno! <laughs> Sounds close enough to a, a character from the Toho series of games that I like. She's, uh, if you're familiar with the show Konosuba, the Aqua, the, the idiot, yeah, that's, uh, that's Cherno. In a shell nut, that's Cherno. <laughs> In a shell nut. Oh boy. Please last long enough to settle, please. Pretty please? Okay. Whale, in that case, I'd like to not die. That that would be nice, to not die. Depending on what we draw here, we might use Fable Passage instead, just to thin out, now that we have enough lands. We should have enough lands. Ah! This again. Actually, no, that works out. We will have it come in tapped after all. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Ow, ow. Next, nothing? Okay. I'll play the Fable Passage and intentionally leave it uncracked so that it doesn't give away to my opponent. Like, if there's a delay, they can think that it's because of the Fable Passage rather than Settle. Oh, jeez. Ow. That's no bueno. Ow. Okay. Little do they realize... No, they do realize. Um, uh, it looks like they realize. Because look at how they divided their attackers. Ah, oh, are you serious? That's awesome. Oh, I should... I would be dead! If they just attacked with everybody, I would be dead. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, I forgot about it, so maybe they did too. Well, still. Jeez. Okay. Um... Get an island. There's only one hope I have here, I think. Cycle, Wrath of God. Nope, nope, we didn't find it. All right, that's game. Jeez, that, that's neat. It does target the opponent. Settle the Wreckage does target the opponent. And also, that thing doesn't just give itself hexproof. What is a gruel creature doing giving you hexproof? I mean, I guess that's a green-ish thing. Green likes hexproof, so I guess. It doesn't feel very gruel. Gruel is big and dumb. Alright. Well, I'll, I'll do one more with this, and if it doesn't work... I'll take the fact that I just lost five in a row, and maybe tweak the deck a little bit. Maybe try out the other Jeskai deck. Maybe. Also, where is Teferi? I haven't seen you once yet, bud. Not that it would have made a difference in that last game, but jeez. Okay. Alright, let's see what we have. What's next? What you got? Uh, sure. 
sure. Um, let's see. Oh, geez. Okay. Hey, that works. We take those. We need another land, though. I might have to cycle again. We'll see what the opponent makes me do. Vyashino Pyromancer. Jeez. Alright. Ow. Alright, what's next? Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're actually going to cycle here. See if we can find another land drop. Nope. Nope, we could not. Well, okay, deck. There are 26 lands here. Please. Please don't be abysmal. Ah. Okay. I mean, I have to take a little bit of damage, but... I think that that's worth it. Ow. Alright, time to hit Gigantha. Alright, and take you. Alright. I have a sneaking suspicion that this sensor isn't going to do anything else for us. Oh, jeez. Four damage? Yeesh. Very technical term. Yeesh. We don't have a lot of life gain in this deck. That's maybe uh, something I could try to put in. Revitalize, maybe? Ooh. Ooh. We're at a virtual two. We're dead. We're actually just dead here. Because of the ramen up ruins. Okay. You know, let's try something else. If at first you don't succeed. I have not had that kind of that kind of streak with this deck. Jeez. Whew! To be fair, I, I don't think that it's specialized to work against aggro decks. I don't think that's exactly its forte. Alright, so let's switch it up. Here's the Yorian deck. Okay. Come on. Come on. We're still going to four wins, so this might end up being a long video. If so, Sorry. Alright. Yeah, yay for Anticipate. Maybe that was the secret sauce. Maybe I needed to put the Anticipates back. Though we didn't see Dovin's Veto, which is the card that uh, was replaced for it. Or which replaced it. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, there we go. Oop. Say hello to our new Lurus Overlords. Oh, this is Luris Auras. This'll be fun. This'll be really fun. Alright, make it big. Yep. Mega big. Rut row, Raggy. Rut row. The sensor is slowly starting to become one of my favorite magic cards because it's almost never dead. If it can't be used as a bad force spike, you can at least cycle it. So, having it in hand, as opposed to something like, I think it's called Droid Disruption. Ah. Well, on the bright side, Narset will stop them from drawing a card, an extra card for a turn. Uh, but they got out of four toughness. That's unfortunate. There's a reason why I run Ornithopter 2, and that's part of why. Okay, then. Alright. Hold it up and then have Anticipate as sort of an option select, I guess. Use that two mana however however I need to. Ow. Uh-oh. And they have Selfless Savior. So Brazen Borrower would be good. Let's see. I don't remember for sure if I've updated this deck to have four Borrowers, but I think I have. But even if I have, it's a Yorian deck, so holy crap. Let's get there. Maybe. Probably not. Ow. Uh. 
Okay. So even Wrath of God won't save me. Though, Settle the Wreckage will, so I guess I can't complain too much. They still have mana open, so I want to try to play it a little more safely. They know I have something. Alright. See what I get. We'll take another settle if we can get one, now that we have the lands for it. Well, okay. Um, Glacial Fortress. This will let me painlessly play Narset here, and she can draw a little bit of fire. Even if just a little bit. Plus, once again, she'll prevent the opponent from drawing a card one time. Uh, it's not looking too great for T1 over here. Not looking too great at all. Alright. Activate, let's see what we get. Porphyro's Intervention. <laughs> sure. Sure. I mean, it scales up pretty nicely, but... Uh, it's... Uh, it's okay. We can deal six damage next turn, but Self the Sa Savior will save them. And because it's a sorcery, I can't even use Dragonfire and then use Intervention afterwards. Oh boy. So, send the two of them at Narset, there we go, and then two damage at me. Ta-da! Alright. Yeah, so unfortunately, because they had that, um, it ended up being a bit of an issue. <laughs> and of course they had another aura. If they didn't, though, then they would have had to send... Um, the Ornithopter at the Narset as well. Hmm. Hey, it's almost like there's another one. Yay. Oops. <sighs> Alright. Let's see if they play this smartly and don't attack with everything. Alright, so the the action here that it's waiting on them to take is Selfless Savior, because it doesn't require any mana. And, yeah, that'll do it. Come on, opponent. Opponent went to go take a restroom break, grab some coffee, some much needed coffee that serves as the lifeblood for all things good and holy in this world. I don't want to win like this though. I want to actually, whoa. Oh, that's right, okay. So even though they had zero, this is their, this is their freebie, I guess. Aha, okay. Aha! Can I just say that this is Dr. Eggman. I like... Look at that. No mustache, actually. Never mind. Can't be. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, I need my opponent to run into a settle. Please do it. Leaving the one mana open, presumably for all seed. Okay. What is going on? That is interesting. That's that's pretty good. So it means that their selfless savior will be able to save the herald after all. That's actually pretty unfortunate for me. It's almost like people know to play around settle nowadays. Alright. 
Well, perforous intervention can kill it, but selfless savior's there, being a jerk. It's a very technical magic term, a jerk. Alright, so I can use Scorching Dragon Fire to kill the Selfless Savior here. It'll pop its invincibility, its indestructibility onto Miscloaked Herald. Then I'll play Narset, get an extra card, try to draw some fire. And yes, I, I didn't play the Whirlwind first. Oh no! Wait a minute! I couldn't have played Whirlwind and Scorching Dragonfire because I had a, that was my land drop. All right. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, Vigilance flying. They will have another one to put on it though, so the four four here doesn't make that much of a difference. Inspired Ultimatum. I'm not there yet, so I guess we'll get Shark Typhoon. Worst case, I can cycle it. Alright, can you make it any bigger? Ah, oh, wait a minute. Castlurus. Castlurus, selfless savior. Crap. If they don't play self. Nope, they played Staggering Insight. Okay, we're good. My opponent is a big dumb. We're good. Oh, wait. Are you attacking Narset or attacking me? That's what I thought. Okay. So in that case, uh, a few things to note. I can use Perfor... I need to kill the Luris now. Like, actual factual now. So I can go Whirlwind of Thought, and that leaves open... Let's see. One, two, three, red. Okay, good. And then I can use Perforous Intervention, X equals one, to deal two damage to Luris, draw a card. But then I need, I still need to actually kill the miscloaked herald. I'm just going to have to rely on having it, unfortunately. Alright. And then draw a card. Hopefully I'll get there. No more selfless saviors, he says, with my opponent drawing one right now. Okay. Um, like that. Ah, no, <laughs> you stop. Stop it. Okay, well, we still have a turn if we can find a settle, but it needs to be actual settle. And there, there are only two in the deck, because I only own two. So, we're screwed. <laughs> Um, oh, no, wait a minute. No, it doesn't have to. Alright, so I have... I can go to 5, Narset, go back to 7, cast out. Let's see. 5, 6, 7, 3, 4... Yeah, okay, that works. That ends up working out. Okay, draw a card. Wrath of God. Okay. White mana. I do have two cast out, so two settle, two cast out. Man, this deck takes a while to play. Alright. White. Because why not? Draw another card. Please find another set. Now it doesn't matter, I suppose. Finding another settle. And make sure they get the Herald and not any part of the stack. Ah, that's right. They had open mana. We're still okay. No, we're not, actually. How many cards do they have in their graveyard? No, okay, so they can put one of them on there, can't they? They use one, goes to four, they use another, they can put two on. So I'm about to take six. Oh, no, wait a minute, it is just one. That's right. Sentinel's Eyes, and then two other cards. Okay. Well, that happened. If I could get a Shark Typhoon online, that would be nice.
Um, Fire Prophecy temporarily knocks out Selfless Savior. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, good. So Shark Typhoon. Oh, but you can't be blocked. Miss, so it doesn't actually make that much of a difference. Okay, here goes. Alright. So, we get a 2-2. Two, two. They can't block it. We're definitely not out of the woods yet. They could find an all that glitters and just ruin me. Immediately. Alright. So they could have blanked that had they sacked it in response. Or they they can they can still do it. What I mean is that if they no okay they didn't. All right, sacred foundry goes. Sensor. All right, please don't have an all that glitters. Please, please. Okay, they drew a land. Staggering insight. That's five. Five in card draw. I can live with that. Uh, six in card draw actually, because of Sentinel's eyes. All right, can we make it out of this? Nothing in their deck has haste. I all, all but guarantee you, nothing in their deck has haste. Also, this deck should have four neutralize. So if we can get to a point where we can anticipate into one, that would be nice. Do it. Do it. Your thanks. I or thanks. Please play. Not like this. Not like this. Okay, okay. They had something. They went to combat without without the Sentinel's eyes. Maybe that's intentional. Maybe they're saving it for la ah, later. Okay, that's okay. No other cards. They played a creature out early. Oh, they're doing it on the Ornithopter. Okay. Make it a 1-3. No, they're not. I have no idea what's going on, as it turns out. Alright, so I am going to lose my Sharks. Um, I guess I'm supposed to add Yori into hand. That would give me the ability to blink cast out. But I can do that at any point, can't I? I, I have enough mana, I can add and then cast Yori in the same turn. Alright, here goes. One card. What's it going to be? And they don't have a castle, do they? No Castle Ardenvale. I think that's usually something like a 1 or a 2 of in these decks. Though in Azorius, I, I wouldn't swear by it. I'll probably censor, or cycle censor first, and then decide on the Triome. Um, I don't want to cash in my Anticipate yet, because I'm not sure what I need just yet. I hope my opponent doesn't concede. They're at a high enough life total. They have a bit of time. Okay, we'll cycle sensor again. Again. Um... This is okay. How many cards do I have left? 52. I think we're fine. I think that we're okay. Oh, nice. Dovin's Veto. Uh, one, two, three, four, five... Yeah, that's, that's enough. Um, you know what? No, it's fine. Save it. Yeah, I, I think we've won. I think we can start taking over the game now. I think that that's safe to say. I hope, at least. With Wrath of God and Dovin's Veto, and we have Yorian for Blinking Cast Out, we should be okay. He says, hoping for the best but expecting the worst. Ugh. Are you gonna drop the bomb or not? <laughs> That's an Alphaville song. 
it's started to become, it's started to move into my, my top tier of songs. It's Forever Young by Alphaville. If I had like a JoJo stand and if I got to pick what the stand's name happened to be, I'm calling it Forever Young. I know I don't, like in the show, they don't get to choose what their stand's power is, but if they get to choose their name, I'm 100% taking that. Okay, so we have no more land. Wait a minute, this is the Yorian one. So we should have one more land that we can fetch out. Um, but I might want to use it for fire, fire prophecy anyway. Okay, looks like we're in okay shape. Yeah, if I don't end up needing the mana, I'll just make a 1-1. One, one. Here we go. But wait, there's more. Alright, what do they have? They have something with flash, I guess? I swear, if they have like a brazen barber or something, I'm not going to be a happy camper. <laughs> oh, what are the odds? I swear, I'm going to switch to a much faster deck after this, just so that we can get four wins and it not take us ten years. Per game. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, my voice is cracking. I need the coffee. <laughs> okay. I, this could be salt roping, but I doubt that, because they were doing this earlier, when it didn't seem to make a lot of sense. When in doubt, I assume that the opponent's not salt roping me. Alright. What could it be, though? Aside from Brazen Barrer, I'm struggling to think of what could show up there. Sentinel's Eyes, something with Flash or an Instant. Um, does Karmetra's Blessing specify that it has to be your creatures? Not that I remember. Okay. Let's uh, attack first. Hiya. Maybe we'll find out. Next time. Okay. I can also use Fire Prophecy on my own 4-4, just to make a 2-2. As silly as that sounds, there is a side of me that would like to. Alright, we still won't cash it in just yet. Alright, find a creature. See if we play. I'm not... Well, now they know not to play out the Ornithopter unless they have to. I guess the idea was supposed to be that if they play the Ornithopter and I use Spot Removal to get rid of one creature, then Ornithopter could kill me on the swing back. I guess. But then Wrath of God, so... I don't know. It's one of... It may be one of those things where there's not a strictly best answer, but there is a best answer. Alright. Am I just going to poke you to death for X plus 1 each turn? Where X is the amount of damage dealt, dealt during the previous turn? I'll do it if I have to. Life gain for- this is why life gain for its own sake is not viable, folks. You use it to work with other synergies in your deck, or... to stall. But, uh... This, this isn't it. Alright, I am actually going to cash the Anticipate. Alright. Let's draw some extra cards. Cads. Draw some extra cads. We'll speed it up just a little bit. Just a mite. Plus we have multiple counter spells and another... Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll take a try out. Uh, sure. This is good. This is okay. Ba -ba -da -ba -bop. Look at that beautiful four turn clock. Uh oh, they have something. <gasps> Beep. Despair. Main deck, settle the wreckage. In that kind of deck. Interesting. 
very interesting. Alright. Let us pass the turn, discard one. Mm, two, three. I think we're okay. Let's just have one of all of the answers. <laughs> this, yeah, yep, yep. That, that will do it. Did I have fun? Yes, yes I did, thank you. Okay, I need to do something else, something that won't take a while, because it's been 50 minutes and only six games. <laughs> to be fair, I now have a 100% win record with the Yorian deck that didn't cast Yorian at all. Alright, but I did say we'd open some packs first, so let's do that. Oh no. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I wish I could give you some insightful commentary, but you've seen these cards for, well, more than a month now. That's nice, though. That's not going into this deck because I, I have too many permanents I'd like to keep around, but the flash deck, maybe. Yeah. That's, that could work, that could do it, despite not itself being an instant or having flash. Okay, yes, an, another negate. Shoutouts to, uh, what, what is your name, that Lily Uwu or something on, on Twitter for collecting hundreds, literal hundreds of negates? Jeez. Alright, so Inscription of Abundance is, is an EDH, not a staple, but like, it feels hard for me to come up with a reason not to run it in a green EDH deck, so I'll be adding it to uh, Garouk pretty soon. Oh, is it Garouk or Garrick? I guess Garouk? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Right. The life gain's a little, a little odd, though. It doesn't do you a whole lot of good. For the, the reason we just found in the last one. Oh, nice. I have a Mythic Wild card. Now I have 21 Mythic Wild cards. <laughs> I use those so frequently, as you can see. I splurged a little bit on Omnith because I knew it was getting banned at some point, so get the free wild cards. And Brazen Barber because that card is fun. Thank you, Drawery Disruption. I've been waiting for you. Orin Reef Ooze. Okay. And attacks plus one plus one counter on each attacking creature with a plus one plus one counter. Cool. That seems like it might get out of control really quickly. Alright. Let's see. And then and then there was one. One of us. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Isn't that thing just cute? It's a pig mouse. Look at that. It's a pig it's a striped pig mouse. It's a tiger pig mouse. Alright, but but for real. Alright, I have a new EDH deck to build. I have a new Brawl deck to build. That'll be fun. And then I have Mastery to use. Hey, you know what? Conveniently. Conveniently. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, so here's the Drawry Disruption. And then Glasspool Mimic. That's what I should run next. So, I did pick up one Glasspool Mimic. So that I could use it in... Um, Merfolk. This is the collected Merfolk deck that had been running, at one point anyway, the Glass Pult Mimic. It's... it... I, I've been switching the deck around. Not having Tempest Caller is a little bit of a problem for Goblins, which is... every fifth game is Goblins. It's ridiculous. But that being the case, Negate does something in more matchups, even if it changes your playstyle a good bit. So to add Glass Pult in, I will take out one Negate, and... Type in the word glass. Hello, gas. Ta-da! Just to try it out. This won't take too long. Uh, I, I kind of would like to tempt fate and play ranked again. But as I know as soon as I do, the internet's going to drop out on me. So let's not say we didn't. And we'll just jam a few quick games of Murfog just to show off glass. We'll see if Glass Pool Mimic comes up. The idea basically is that it just gives you another lord. Merfolk is supposed to be something like the lord deck <laughs> in the format. Well, no, I guess that's goblins actually. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. Whale. Whale, this brazen bar needs actual blue mana. 
this might be a problem. But you know what? We have a branch walker, so maybe we'll get there. Branch walker, Reedry, Coco. Let's go. Shot out. Hello. If I need to, I can put the other one on Rogue. You're not fairy. I have more rogues. Glasspool Mimic, for instance. It's a rogue. Oh boy. Uh, how about, since you already know about that one, we'll play out the Reedry. Ah, uh, that was, that was short-sighted, because now I don't have another Merfolk for Silvergill Adept. That was short-sighted, but it's okay. Next turn can be Coco anyway. Bzz. Just every time. Alright, yes, indeed, I will put that on Rogue. And that's a wizard. Good to know. Alright, let's see what I can get. Glass... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, so importantly to know, Glass Pool Mimic cannot come in as Merfolk Mistbinder because it's not on the field yet when this resolves. So in that case, I will go for Mistbinder Kapala. It doesn't let me draw a card, but since they're low on mana, hopefully it'll save some of my creatures, like Mistbinder. I am running one Kapala, one Kira. Uh, Kira is better in almost every way, except Kira is not a merfolk. And when the two of them get put together, it's stupid how strong they are. But yes, Kapala is pretty weak, unfortunately. But it's a merfolk, so it's it's meant to be... I think, I think it's meant to be weaker as a result. If I were a betting man. Alright. So let's reveal a Silvergill. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's not bad. Could be worse. Can I find another land, please? Alright. Well, yes. Yes, indeed. I guess first let's go to combat. Let's go to wombat. I'm just going to try to beat the opponent on this next turn. I don't think that they can burst me for 13 damage here. And as a result, I should have it this next turn. I don't think so. Okay, no, they cannot. They cannot. Nice. Noise. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, Kapala is putting in some work. Six. And then the good game. Alright. So let's return you to hand. And... Yep, there we go. Ta-da! As Evangelion would say, ta-da! Nope. Well, that'll do it. See? Much faster. <laughs> much, much faster. Uh, glass pool is nice, but unfortunately, it has that tiny bit of a nombo with Collected Company. Now, I tempted fate earlier, so that means we're going to come across goblins. That's how that works, right? Okay. Goggleberry. <laughs> okay. So no turn one speaker, unfortunately. When they come out, the Simic uh, new dual land, Zendikar land... Oh, no, never mind, we do get one. Oh, but I just gave up my turn two trickster. That's okay. Well, branch walker. Uh, th that will replace two forest and two islands so that I can more readily cast turn one speaker, for instance, or turn one biomancer. Although it will make Hinterland Harbor hurt just a little bit. There will still be, I think, about six basics in the deck. So I think that that's enough, plus the four breeding pools. That should be okay. All right, Daxos. Uh, you know what? Let's just start lording up. They can... No, they're not going to. Oh, okay, I'm about to say. Let's get them away from 30 life as quickly as possible. Ah, crap. Es no bueno. 
Okay, this is six mana, yep. So one, another creature comes in, in two. This should be alright. Let's just try to beat them as quickly as possible. He says, as he's not attacking with the Mistbinder, but I think that one makes some sense. Boom. Okay, please do not start gaining a lot of life. That would make me very sad. Uh oh. So that's one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think this is a matchup for Kira. Alright, and you... I'll seed. Interesting. Alright, so tap Resplendent Angel down. And this should kill it. Nice. Gotta play that 4D chess, folks. <laughs> yeah, so because its toughness is star, for any creature which has a toughness of star, when you remove its ability, it dies. See Beanstalk Giant here. It's silly, and I love it. It also works on the Black Demigod, whose name I cannot believe that I can't remember. But Timurit? I believe? Alright. So, Tim. There are those who call me... Tim. Hello, Sir Tim. <laughs> Yay, Monty Python references. Ah. One of these days, the family and I are going to get back together and celebrate by watching Monty Python and the Holy Grail. So that would... <laughs> That would make us uh, quite happy. <sighs> the first time that I ever watched that movie was with my grandma, uh, and I w just during the opening credits with all the, the llamas and whatnot, we were laughing, my, my siblings and I were laughing so hard that she had to go take a picture of us, <laughs> crying. I was crying from laughter before the movie proper had started. Alright, Tim. Any day now. It's okay. So when I get done with this, I will be jumping into some Dark Souls. That'll be fun. Dark Souls 3. Getting back into my playthrough. By the time this video is recorded, it is not on YouTube yet. Uh, by the time that this actually goes up, it might be. The plan is basically to just have it where I know that a lot of people don't watch my channel for the, the Let's Plays, for the games, like with Evangeline. And so, I'll put up just the first episode and then have a link in the description where it's a playlist. It's, and everything else is unlisted. And you can just watch it at your own pace. Oh yeah, oh this is fun. So when I, since I took out the Tempest Caller, this is a, this is not a good matchup. At all. So let's start off with a Branch Walker and see if we can find another land. That would be nice. Yeah, this is a pretty terrifically bad match. We didn't, but we found a lord, so I can keep that. And maybe that's greedy of me, but I'm, I'm going to keep it. I think that that's, I just need to try to rush them down as quickly as possible. I think. If we get stuck on two lands, thankfully we have a bunch of two drops. Negate is blank. It's just a blank card for this matchup. Occasionally you'll see a deck that runs Shock. That's it. That's the actual factual only card. And even then, because they have a Goblin that cycles to deal damage, you probably won't see Shock. There's War Ch Oh, okay. That's interesting. Alright, hiya! I'm sure that there's a reason. I just don't know what it is yet. We'll wait for Trickster to do its job, probably. Okay. Cranko. Alright, that's that's game. Yeah, when Cranko comes down, it's game. I cannot beat that. Like, that's how bad it is, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. We're in trouble, folks. Krinko and Muxus. This deck is kind of, do you get to stick your big creature? Yes? Okay, then you win. Good game. And they have eight big creatures. Turns out it's pretty bad for us. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. I'm gonna call it there. Even with, even if I had Tempest Caller, that was just too fast. That's the best deck in Historic. I, I'm not even mad, because that's a really good, that's a really good deck, and it's a really fun deck to play. But, <laughs> it does sometimes feel a little bit frustrating. You would think that the answer might be, we'll play counter spells and Wraths and whatnot. I built one of my uh, Jeskai control decks, I built two beat that deck, and granted, I don't have the other two settle the wreckage, uh, so it's not complete. Even so, that does maybe like 55% against them. It's, it's tough. The deck almost has to lose to itself, as crazy as that sounds. Eh, we'll do an island. There he goes. Yeah, if they just don't find what they need, and that's why we play the island. All right. Um, actually, let's stick the Mistbinder here. I think is probably right. Hmm. Before they can get counter magic up. Oh, oh hi, kill spells. Let's go. Or a creature with flash. Aether gust. Yep, let's put that on top. That's fine. And... Okay. Discard you. Oh yeah, because I already played a land drop. Genius. It's okay. It's one extra point of damage. I guess that that works. Ooh. You're a mean one. Ooh, okay. Well, that's not good. There was a lord. They're, they knew there was a lord, and they didn't do anything about it. That's disconcerting. Normally, I would want to play the Mistbinder first because they can see it. Hmm. Yeah, I can't play the Trickster anyway. Alright, let's just hit them for three. Hey, yee, 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 yee. Okay. Hi, Uro. Alright, so they go back to 11. Ah! Okay. My turn. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, I can't cast it yet. That's right. Well, this is unfortunate. Oop. Alright, back to where we were. Uh-oh. Six mana. Do they have six cards? They don't. Not yet. Soon enough, but not yet. All right, green, green, blue, blue. Yeah, they're, they're fine. Hydroid Crisis. Hydroid Thunder! Hey! Yeah, let's do it. They get the beats in while we can, I guess. Okay, here goes. I haven't seen any kill spe spells yet, have I? I'm sure that at least eliminates in here, though. Oh, jeez. Crap. Five mana. Five mana cantrip creature. Yay. Nope. We're close, but not there yet. Alright, yeah, now they can cast it whenever they feel like. Which should be now. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Now Tempest Caller would be really nice. Really nice. Except I took it out of the deck. Ah! Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Not yet. Attack first. Oh jeez, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you <laughs> That is the song of my people. <laughs> I'm not doing it again. I probably will. Alright. Well, this is unfortunate. Get you. Let it through. Oh boy. I think we lose here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it. They, they <laughs> preempted it. They knew. They knew. Huh, okay. Is there anything that could have... No. No, there's not anything that could have got me out of that spot. If I had a mirror Reachery there, I could have kept playing, hoping to get Merfolk, like tri uh, Trickster especially, so that I could keep tapping their stuff down. Hmm. Hmm. Also, I genuinely find a harder meta in the casual queue than in Platinum Ranked. I genuinely do. Probably because of people like me that don't play ranked. Uh, unable to join event. Did my internet go out? It, I, it doesn't show that it has, but I would not be surprised in the least. <sighs> Alright. Let me see if the internet's working. Unable to resign from event. Okay, that's weird. Let's see if it can find my decks. I don't know if it has to load this each time. Oh, oh, also, Brawl Vivian. Ta-da! That's right, because I don't have uh, Garuk put together now. I have Vivian put together. All right. Let's see if the internet's working on here. Maybe. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. What is going on? Okay. One sec. Um. Boop a doop a doop. Boop a doop a doop. There we go. See what's going on with that. Right, let's start it back up. Oh, hi! It's a ladybug. It's that time of year where the ladybugs are starting to find any way that they can get inside the house. And I have the window open, so... I didn't know until just recently. Apparently, ladybugs have an extremely mild form of venom. I did not know that. Yeah, just, just chilling out. Would you like to watch? Would you like to watch, little guy? Oh god. Why did I keep that? On the, on the draw, maybe. Why did I keep that? Well, okay. Yeah, it's just too slow. We're, we're dead. Actually, no, no, wait a minute. Let's bounce it first. Okay, and then village rights. No, I wish. Thought saves. Okay, that'll do it. Well, I tried. I was hoping. I was crossing my fingers. So in that case, what I'll do is, unless I find another land, well, even if I do find another land, probably, on their upkeep, I will tap it down with Trickster. So that they don't get any more tokens out, at least. Looks like you're nibbling at me, and you know, you might be. Alright, so we 
tap it down. Boop. Loses all abilities. There we go. All right, little buddy. Can you? Uh, that's okay. You can. You can chill. You can stay. I say can you go? But I think we're good. I think we're all right. Okay. I swear, if I win this silly, silly game that I definitely should not have kept. Oh God. Uh, unfortunately, it's Coco that's going to go. And... Oh, village rights. Well, I have a sneaking suspicion that that won't be gone for long. Copies of Doom Foretold. Maybe I should show that off at some point. Pay the two. And give them a turn back with Pyromancer, unfortunately. I don't think that they'll do that, though. I think that they'll go for... No, they don't have enough yet. Never mind. It might have been a mistake. Ooh. Adler is to hand. Nope. Oh no. Ow, ow. Alright, and then sack it to village rights. Spark harvest. Yeah, I'm going to call that. I'm going to call that. You know what? Everybody deserves a sixth chance. Why? Well, I am having an off day today for this, <laughs> for magic. Good grief. I feel like tempting fate, which is to say, I feel like getting one win with this deck. One, please. Ah. All right. Just chilling out. You can you can see that, right? A little dot on my hand. Yeah, that's a ladybug. Just chilling out. Feels like it's nibbling at me. It's it's kind of weird. Ah, uh, it's okay. What else are you going to do with your day anyway? Hunt for aphids. No, this is much cooler. J Dog. I swear, there was a kid in high school who would not stop calling me that. It only got a little annoying. <laughs> it only got a lot annoying. That's ah, okay. They meant it as a term of endearment, so I'll, I'll take that. Hi, Elspeth. Hello. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, let's just bolt the bird really quickly. Beep. I don't know why I didn't use Castle Ardenvale then, if that's all I happen to be up to. Okay, we can live with that. Ooh. I say. I say. Now, I, I could have bounced the uh, food token, and I sh probably should have, right? It de deprives them of some mana. Ooh, okay, buddy. Okay, now. Alright, cast your 5-5. Five, five. Yep. Um, I could bounce it back to their hand. Let's cycle. Rogan Triome. Hmm. It might be a little bit early to start worrying about that just yet. I'll bounce it. Okay. I'd like to try to get more out of this Wrath, but I also don't want to take too much damage. Do it again. Make another one, and then five... Oh, nope. Okay, yep, that's what's going on. There it goes. I say we do it now.
You know what I could do? I could wait yet again. Hmm. Yeah, if I bounce it, I can use Dovin's Veto to get rid of it completely. I think that that's okay. Plus, I have the option to use Brazen Borrower if need be. I doubt I'll use it because I have Wrath of God. I'd like to keep my creatures around. But it, it gives me something to do. Hopefully, if I cast Dovin's Veto, They'll cast the other Lovestruck Beast, and I'll be able to take it all out. Alright, there we go. With Wrath of God. This must be the weirdest game to my opponent. What is going on? Okay. Boop! Boom. Alright. But then again, look how many cards they have compared to mine. That's not good. Save it. Yeah, that's really not good. I can ever so slightly help out my clock by hitting that. All right, and no, I can't make a token to block Steel League Champion anyway, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I think I overthought that whole line. Ah, good game. Good game, they got me. Embercleave is three strong, five me. It's a really good card. Uh, I don't, I admittedly, I don't like its design. I don't like big dumb win buttons, which is what Embercleave feels like. At worst, it's five mana. You're not going to cast it for six. You're going to be at least attacking with one creature. And then it attaches immediately. And then it gives plus one, plus one, and double strike, and trample. That's a lot. That was a whole lot. I haven't seen it in modern yet, though, so it must be balanced, right? This is maybe Mud, or the Mono Red Chandra deck. It's Mud. Okay. Yeah, this isn't good. This is not a matchup I'd like to see. Ooh. Yeah, I, I can't stop that. I'm going to make all the mana this quickly. I'm in trouble, folks. I'm in a whole heap of trouble. You know, if I use Brazen Borrower here... No, I need to use Narset. No ifs, ands, or buts. I need to use Narset here. Find another card. Try to get myself out of this. I don't have Heliod's Intervention in the main board. That would be nice. Alright, maybe Guardian Idol to attack Narset would be interesting. Would be a thing. They don't need to crack the archive anyway, though. Forsaken Monument, cheese. Yeah, we're in trouble. Good God. Good God. Almighty. At this point, sure, I guess. Yeah, I'm not winning this one. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can already see that. That's not working. Okay, but let me play as if I can. Brazen Borrower, bounce the token, put Karn to one, no wait, Brazen Borrower, bounce the token, Scorching Dragonfire. I'm having to use two cards effectively to get rid of one, but, you know, you do what you have to do, I guess. Huh. 
Oh boy. And now with all of the mana, at least they can't crack the, arch the archive on my turn. Not that that's much consolation at all. Also, are decks like this only running cataracts for Golos? Uh-oh. Alright, at me. I would no, at Narset. Okay. So they are going to try to crack it soon. It also works for Tome, I suppose. Archive and Tome. There it is. That, that'll do it. We're still not winning this, but I will try. Where's the fun in giving up, right? Alright, so this will give them less mana, make their creatures not as big. The life gain is not really relevant. Excuse me. Alright, so they have five power on board. Two from Guardian, three from District. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. If you get Platinum Angel... Mystic Forge. Oh. Whale! Guess we'll just do this now. And then hope we can get somewhere, I guess. Worst case, I can use Thassa's Intervention to just draw a couple cards. Draw a couple cards. Oh, good god. Okay, so they... I need to just neutralize that, right? Yeah, they have enough mana. I think they can even pay for an Intervention. Let's just counter it. Just straight up counter it. Let's not be having that. Let's not say we didn't. So now I get hit for four. Oh my goodness! Mystic Forge is broken. Says the guy who plays it in Vintage. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now what? Now how do I get out of this? I have basically this whole deck except, like, Forsaken Monument. I could do this. This looks fun. This looks really fun. Alright. Yeah, no. Let's let's see if we can get an actual win in. I swear. <laughs> ah! I go to show off a deck and then this happens. It's almost... Almost. Like, playing fair magic is not really good right now. It's almost like it's not viable. Oh, it's, it's turning around in my hand. It's moving. It's being really slow at it. It's glacial. But it's moving. Hmm. Agu. Agumon! Okay. Yeah, please. If any game should do it, please let it be this one. This hand looks nice. Oh, and they're mulling. And they're taking a mulligan. Crossing fingers, hidden dragon. Alright. Yes, and we get to go first. So this sensor should be... Should be pretty strong. Nope. Yo. Yeah, what was that? Alright, pass. I, okay, I should be at 19. Ah! Whale. That's a thing, I guess. Okay. Whale, then. Whale, then. Alright, so take one. Actually hit me this time. What on earth? 
Okay. Touche. Touche. So they'll play a land, and then what is this? Rimrock Knight. I'm sorry, Sensor. You're not going to get to show yourself off. It doesn't look like it. Oh my goodness, I swear. That is a ton of damage I'm about to take. But I think I might have to. I'm about to take nine. I think I might have to. Alright, we'll hold up the sensor. Because they have Rimrock Knight. Jeez. Oh no, wait a minute. Another, not each. Not each other, okay. For some reason, I, I mistook what was going on here. I get it now. I get it. That's still a lot. Jeez. Okay. Well, we can reduce the damage a little bit by censoring this. But if I do this, I better be sure I find another land. I, I think I have enough time. This will also keep it from being cast as a creature later on, so I think it's worth it. Well, we got there. Boom. Now I just have to hope I don't die. I mean... <laughs> existential crisis in a nutshell, right? Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we're in great shape, as it turns out. Uh, no. Okay, so now the deck gets to bully the opponent. Triome. Let's go. Just being a bully over here. T1 bully elf. T1 glistener bully. Alright. What do they have? A removal for creatures, I guess? So this, if so, this borrower should be dead. They didn't play... Yeah, okay, there we go. That makes sense. That's fine. I can live with that. Voracious Great Shark. Om nom 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 nom. I, I haven't shown her the movie yet, but I introduced Evangeline to the concept of Jaws. I told her it's a movie about a shark and that she probably wouldn't like to watch it, and she said, Why? She's so innocent. Uh, sh sure. Like, skewer. Oh my god. If this just comes out of nowhere. Yeah, once again though, we don't have any life gain, so I'm I'm in trouble. If they just find another, we're we're dunskies. Okay. They just played a land. I can live with that. Yeah, we need to get out the other shark, don't we? No, we don't need to get out the other shark. Because if we play the shark, we can hit them for 10, and that puts them at the same clock regardless. Let's just glimpse. One, two, three, four, five. We'll use the shark next turn. They do have haste creatures, after all. Creatures with haste. Alright, on to my turn. Good, now we should be in okay shape. That Thassa's intervention is... excellent. Between the intervention and the great shark, we should be fine. How much you want to bet that card that's stranded in their hand is an ember cleave? Okay. Finally! But the deck had to give me basically everything I wanted in order for that to work. Um, yeah, so this deck is... it's a lot of fun, but it doesn't look to be as viable as... as... It, I, as even I've experienced in the past. It's not getting the wins that it needs to. So... <laughs> you know, maybe it needs to have some more flash shenanigans. I know that if I were to have black in the deck, uh, it's doing one of the other colors. 
then I can run Slitherwisp and there's that whole engine. Uh, Slitherwisp is this card. Let me pull it up really quickly. That should be enough. Yep, Slitherwisp. So if you want to run a black blue or a black blue X uh, flash deck, by all means go right ahead. Slitherwisp is is a great way to go about doing that. In fact, with the two mana, why can't I think it? she makes uh, cat tokens? Cat token. Okay, maybe she doesn't. The the one two legendary uh, that makes cat tokens when you draw your second card on a turn, you can use that to just create a ton of value in green. You can have access to spot removal, like damage based spot removal with red. Um, you could play rogues just in those colors. You could just play rogues. Lots of them have flash. That works as well. However you want to do it, but that seems like it should be more viable than the Jeskai flash deck that I've built, uh, apparently. Or you know what? If you have any suggestions, by all means, again, feel free to let me know. I know that the deck is incomplete, it's missing cards, like the other settles, for instance, so I know that there are cards that I could use, maybe should use, and just haven't spent the wild cards on yet. Uh, I only have three rares, <laughs> and 21 mythic rares, oh yeah, yeah. Alright, that's it. Take care, Magic Community, I will see you all later. Slowly so it doesn't fall off me. Bye-bye!